All right, we have returned to life kin. This is a demo from Long Raccoon over in my Discord. Long Raccoon says, the lyrics are quite personal, so I want to, I want to do them justice. I name drop both Loathe and Between the Buried and Me in the same line of lyrics in this song, Lamal. <laughs> as pretty much anything I make the lyrics are in the description, the newer tracks I've been working on haven't used nearly as many metaphors as I normally dump into my lyrics and are much more to the point. Kin is about being born into a country that's turned itself into an international joke and all the family back there that I'll likely never see again. It does, however, feature a fun little Easter egg with two band names being dropped in the same lyric line during chords that I definitely didn't steal from them. All right, got some lyrics here. Let's check this out. This is Return to Life Kin Demo. This sounds really good for a demo. You guys see the lyrics? Kind of. This is awesome! This is great! Like, not that I expected it to be bad, but this is great! The drums feel, like, very heavy in the mix. They feel almost distorted. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it sounds cool. Ah, uh, let's go one to four chord. Oh, minor chord. Back to the one. Yes, yes, good chords. This is amazing. Yeah, this is sick. These are the best Rush vocals I've heard.
back to this part. This reminds me of something. It is low to ask, yeah. This is... this is very loathe. It's sort of ambient. We just haven't caught... Oh. All I can say is bruh. No shot that's this good. What? That this goes so hard. The lyrics are good. The different sections are good. It's got a really good flow throughout. Where's the where's the okay, this beginning. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The, this sounds like the one part I can't I don't remember what band or song it is. But there's like a melody that goes like and it has this sort of like like that kind of thing going on in the background. I can't place what it is. Oh, no, no, hang on. I'm getting flashes of, of more of the song. Uh, wait. I think it's Leather Wings by uh, Thornhill. Yes! Does it not sound like this? It sounds like Leather Wings by Thornhill. Right? That's what it reminds me of. That's cool. I wonder if that was intentional or not. I'll have to ask. Or I'll I'll make this into a video, and then Long Raccoon, you tell me if if this was intentional or not. It sounds a lot like Leather Wings. This is, dude. This this needs more traction. 155 views. Bump this up. Oop, I didn't want to open ChatGPT. What the heck was that? This was so cool. My favorite part was the. Where's the one part? Yeah, my favorite part was the one part. This, where it gets kind of more mellow. I love this switch up here. Like, yeah, that, that part is so good. Yeah, this sounds so good. This needs way more recognition. I, I'm doing this, I'm making this into a video. I'm promoting this as much as I can. This is sick. This is amazing. Yeah, these transitions are, are really, really good. And they work really well. Like, where's the, like, where's the switch here? Yeah, you've got... It's that switch. That's it's so good. 
Because it goes from like the the earlier part where it's just kind of, you know, there's some cleans and it's heavy and then it builds up and you got the screams come in and then it just bam and it hits and it all kind of backs off into this beautiful chord. And then we're into a whole new section here with some nice little major seven chords. That's so good. And then it goes back into after that. Some different chords around here. This part's so good. I can't even put this into words, but it's so sick. Then it drops into this loathe-like transition here with this ambience. And it picks back up again for this, this last part, which is... Isn't it similar to... Yeah, here, here, here. It's, yeah, it's that part that comes back from the lyrics. This is this is structured so cool, cool, coolly, cool, nicely. I don't know. Insert adverb here. That's sick. 